we've had a couple on the uh, washing line. That's working a treat. So now it's time to have a look over something a bit different. Let me fish the indicator. Controversial to some people. Other people love it. I don't mind it one way or the other. Uh, I think any method catching fish is a good thing. Uh, it does help to keep the flies exactly where you want them. The idea being that you've got a little float a little bit of polystyrene and then you can just suspend flies static in the water and that really is the essence of this. You want to fish this absolutely static. Below that, two foot below that, I've got a buzzer. And again, two foot below that, another buzzer. Everything's fairly short, not too far out. Fish with too deep. The idea is you just pop it out there, let the fly sink down to depth, and then just keep your eyes on it. So all you're doing, just keeping your eyes on those buzzers as they they go down. We won't fish it too far out, so we can try and catch it there. That'll do us. Yeah, it's called fishing the bun, fishing the indicator. Um, it's not the be all and end all. There's plenty of days when it won't work. It's good when the fish are feeding on buzzers like they are now. Um, try it, have a go at it. I've got nothing against it. It does upset some people, but uh, that's up to them. Right, now that's all cocked and sitting there, and we've got the two flies sitting there at two different depths, and all we're waiting for is that to go shooting under. And we're going to react to it, just get a nice quick strike as soon as it goes under. And it's just going like that. Look at that. Look at that go. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hey. That's incredible. Well, it seems you can't go too far wrong with buzzer methods today. He's hit that like a steam train. About 25 yards of line on one run there. Which one's he taken? Looks like he's taking the point flight, the one that's down at four foot. We did so, we reckon they were sitting at about four foot. Not a particularly big fish, but gone off like a rocket. Cracking, cracking sport this is. Get yourselves down here. There he goes. Wonderful. Well. You'd think I'd have all uh, I'd have edited this, but that really was the first chuck with it. There's that hook, should be out in the net. He's absolutely woofed it. Woofed it. Just hold still. Hold still. There we are. Just. He's eating that. Just taking that completely for a natural bubble. Took that nice and easily. Just give him a second to recover. He's ready. There we are. We've got the indicator set up. We've had a fish first cast. We're going to fish it nice and short again so we can catch it on camera when it disappears. Let's have a look, see if we can get my second chuck. I'm just fishing on the edge of that drop off because I really truly believe that that's where most of these fish are uh, uh, navigating. That's where they're swimming up and down. It's the easiest place for them to intercept anything. So there it's full of food. And that's just sitting there lovely. Every now and again, just going to give it a little twitch, just a little tweak. Just makes those flies just bump a little bit. Things swimming around and not too short, that sometimes entices the tape. It uh, just aggravates them. <laughs> that's explosive stuff. Look at that. That's incredible. these nice and hard because I want them to go back nice and nice and strong. Lovely in this water, lovely to see. Let's get down nice and low. Look at that. Same fly again, that point fly at about four foot. There's another fish just moved, take one right off the top there in the sunshine.
lovely, lovely fight. Cracking in this clear water. Beautiful, look at that for a shot. So strong at this time of year, so fit. There we go. Just let him sit down. The hook will probably drop out and run forward. There's the hook distance. Easy peasy. Sailed away. Look at that go. Look at that go. Absolutely sailed away. Keep that rod nice and high, pan nice and high. The best angle you can on those fish. Look at that jumping. Tremendous. Great sport. Brilliant sport. And you see the reason why we use strong tippet. Well, I'm not scaling down, this is 10 pound leader on here as well, and you need it, you do. Especially if you want these fish to go back in nice and fit. And there's a place for fishing like tippets, but not this time of year, not in my mind, not in my book. It's a good fish, that's a cracking fish, look at that. That's the best one today. Come on mate, I'm letting you go. Just, just, just. Let's have a draw. Just shook out lovely. And the sunshine. Isn't it? 